This is the now Emerald Hotel in Cancun. It's actually an all-inclusive hotel and you can often get deals on booking.com. That's where we booked. Um, there's lots of uh, different cafes. This one here just coming up to is the private lounge. So you have to pay a little bit more if you want to go in there. This area here is a spa. Didn't go in there myself, but there's all extra options in there if you want massages. This here is a little coffee and snacks area. So again, all inclusive. You can just come here, you can grab a water, some fruit. There's a whole load of different coffees and teas, ice cream there, and a little area where you can work. There's actually multiple pools here. This is one of the pools, but there's three in total. This one is where they tend to have a lot of activities like paddle boarding, and it's where you meet for yoga. The staff are all very friendly, as you can see. They're always trying to offer you a cocktail. Again, everything's free all day. What can we get here? Cocktails? Sure, yes. <laughs> they look nice. I come back in a second. <laughs> I don't really drink very much, but my friend took great advantage of those. This is one of the many restaurants where you can come and get food in the evening. You can take your pick between many. Uh, we actually went to the Japanese sushi one, which we had to wait for in queue and you can just order unlimited food. I don't know if you can go to multiple restaurants. I actually didn't check that. I mean, maybe if you can eat enough food, you can. So these are the additional pools on the other side. This is where they have the volleyball, just down here in this one. The only problem I found with the pools is they were too cold for me. I'm probably a bit of a wuss with pool temperature, but I like to feel warm in the water and I was freezing when we were playing volleyball. I mean, this probably isn't the hottest, obviously, that Mexico gets when we went, but still, I personally would have liked them to have been just moderately heated. There's bars all around the pool where you can just get a free drink and grab some refreshments or a snack. This down here is a sort of spa pool area, but it was freezing. <laughs> Every pool is so cold here. That is my only complaint, but some people really like a cold pool, so I can't speak for everybody. But especially when you're relaxing in the spa, this is the one thing that would have made it a lot better for me if this one down here at least was heated. Um, this is a preferred club. I'm not really sure what that means because we just got to walk in and out of here, so... It seemed the rest the same as everywhere else, really. There's a staircase just at the end where you can walk down onto the beach and they have some lounges down there. This main area of the pool, they have really loud pop music on which I'm not a massive fan of, so I prefer the quieter areas like the other side and downstairs, but if you like loud, then this is the area for you.
This is the way to the dining room where you get breakfast and lunch. Again, a massive unlimited buffet. There's lots of choice, so you're gonna find something that you're willing to eat or want to eat for sure. They have lots of free classes on as well that you can partake in like yoga and paddle boarding as I said earlier. This was me and my friend having a go at paddle boarding. Here's my friend here just coming in on the board. They also had a gym which was really amazing because it overlooked the ocean. You can't get better than that. At night, the place got a bit more of a party vibe and there was people dancing until the early hours of the morning. But I have to say that I didn't hear it in my room at all. They also have free entertainment on in the evening. This was a light show. I think it's probably more of a child's thing, but you know, it does give families something to do in the evening. 